Shalom. Welcome to GMS Gals on the Streets. I'm Elder Saka Run from the GMS New York camp. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, whom I worship. Double honors to the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word. Um, as always, looking through the articles this morning, uh, just woke up. And um, yeah, today, today is uh, June 18th. Uh, 2017 and uh, on a Sunday and um, woke up saw this article and you know just caught my eye just wanted to speak on it you know like like I like, got like we've been saying you know this is this is a time we're living in a time of war not peace so um I found this odd this article odd because I I've never heard of Iran and China conducting any military exercises or naval exercises before, you know, if, if someone did, if 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 they they did before, then I didn't know about it. But all I know is that uh, we are living in those times right now. Um, the militaries around the world are co conducting many exercises because something's up, something's up, something something is about to break out. You know, we don't know when. Uh, but we know that once it does, it's going to be big, you know, um, because yes, this, it's this, this, um, Ar Armageddon, right? This is right at the door, you know, um, our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, is right at the door, you know, so, you know, time, uh, time is speeding up for the elect's sake, like, like the scriptures say. And um, these things are happening because it's uh, for prophecy's sake, you know. So I'm going to go on, read the article, and uh, pull some scriptures up. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to see, I'm going to follow up on this, on this news here. And, um... And see see what the hell's going on. All right, so I'm gonna read this. This is uh, it says, oh, this is from my uh, RT app, by the way. You know, that's where I'm. I majority get my uh, articles from, cause um, I got it downloaded on my phone. All right, so it says, Iranian and Chinese naval forces are participating in joint drills in the strategically important Strait of Hormuz. The naval maneuvers come amid growing tensions between the U.S. and Iran as Washington prepares a new round of sanctions against Tehran. Uh, oh, yeah. And in, in the scriptures, um, Iran is considered um, as the Persians. So keep that in mind. OK, Chinese, that's the Moabites. Uh it says the naval maneuvers come amid growing tensions between the U.S. and Iran as Washington prepares a new round of sanctions against Tehran. A total of four vessels and two helicopters displayed their military capabilities on Sunday during a day of joint exercises in the strait connecting the Persian Gulf with the Gulf of Oman. The Chinese fleet, which includes the Chang Chung guided missile destroyer, the Chao Hu replenishment ship, the Jin the Jin Zhou uh, frigate, and a helicopter, arrived in the in the Iranian southern port of Bandar Abbas on Thursday. An Iranian destroyer and a helicopter joined them for the drills oh, let me see it says the exercises which had been planned in advance are aimed at promoting interaction and strengthening confidence between the navies of the two nations according to uh, rear admiral Shen Hao, commander of Chi of China Navy Task Force Group 150, as cited by Iran's 
IRNA news agency. So, yeah, these nations are helping Persia, you know. Why? Because Persia, or they're known as Iran today, they don't have... There's a lot of there's a lot of people in Iran, but in their military, they don't have a, a great big military, okay? Like Russia, China, and the United States do. So let's see their military, right? Let's go here real quick. All right, well, this is this is this is the chart that lists the Chinese military. It says uh it's a China. They got an active military of 2,333,000 military personnel. Okay. Uh, the reserve military is 510,000. That's China. Now let's get uh, Iran. All right, Iran. It says Iran reportedly has more than five hundred and twenty-three thousand. See, they they don't even go into the millions. Uh, personnel on active service, comprising three hundred and fifty thousand in the army, uh, including two hundred and twenty thousand cons conscripts, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Viewed as the most loyal guardians of the ruling system, has a fur has a further one hundred and twenty five thousand uh, soldiers. All right. Um. Now, like I said, this is uh, pretty much these are the Persians and the Moabites conducting military drill exercises. Why? Because something is brewing. A, a big ass war is brewing, man. And it involves Russia, and it involves um, uh, the United States. So now let's see who who will come to Persia's aid in in in, in, in if there was a war against Iran by the United States, who will protect uh, the Persians here? As you can see, Ch uh, China will. Uh, but in the scriptures, who else will? Well, let's get the, let's pull the scripture up. All right, because this is all prophecy. Let's go to Ezekiel 38, and we'll start from the top. And it says, And the word of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, came unto, unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog uh, and the, the land of Magog, the chief, and that's talking about Russia, the chief Prince of Meshach and Tubal. Now, the chief Meshach and Tubal, uh, today, that area today will, will be considered uh, Turkey. It says, The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Now, you always heard us say um, that that represents the Russians uh, going back to a, uh, a communist, going back to a, a communist state, a communist system, man, or, so, or so, socialist system. All right. And, um... And they're gonna, you know, they're gonna whatever kind of system they're trying to do, you know, that so-called democratic bullshit they're trying to do, that they're gonna throw that out the back door, okay? Uh, and it's now I don't know if it's gonna be this. See, I don't know if this guy Putin is gonna be the one the Lord is gonna use to set set things off, or if there's gonna be a new dude they're gonna get it get in place and and do the job, you know. That remains to be seen, but, you know, it, it would seem like Putin would be the one, you know, but we'll see. It says, third verse, and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army. 
horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers, ancient equipment, military or war equipment that um, the ar armies will have, you know, today it represents the, um, all the military vehicles that the modern day militaries uh, throughout the world will have, you know, tanks, naval ships, helicopters, you know, all that. Um, and it says, uh, and it says Persia. Yeah, it says it says uh, great company with bucklers and shields. Today, the uh, the shields that they have is uh, anti missile defense systems. You know, anti missile defense systems and shit. You know that that they have in place throughout the world or whatever. Fifth verse. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. With them, all of them with shield and helmet. So Persia is the Iran. Uh, Iran. Right. The Ethiopians is just that the, you know, Ethiopians and, you know, and also the Libyans. So these are the these are the nations that uh, that uh, Russia, Magog will be protecting, you know, in this in this uh, third, uh, this last war, third world's war. I said Goma and all his <coughs> excuse me and all his bands, the house of Togremaw of the North Quarters and all. His bands and many people with thee. So these are all the nations, you know, that will be uh, uh, joint with uh, Russia. Because Russia is going to be pretty much, um, you know, protecting them. These nations and uh, these nations are going to be allied with Russia in this great war that's coming. Okay. Hey, there's a great war coming. So nations, they got to they gotta pick a side who, who they with, right? So the scriptures is telling you right now. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou guard unto them. After many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people. That is talking, after many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years, talking about we're in the latter years now, thou shalt come into the into the land that is brought back from the sword. That's talking about America, the United States, uh, because the United States hasn't uh, been confronted with no great, great war, great, great war here on on these soils. All right. And it's gathered out of many people. Right. Because uh, the, the United States is comprised of many people. All right, many many uh, uh, immigrants came to uh, to United States, all right, uh, in the early 1900s to make a better life for themselves, right? And they they stayed here and built shop here and got rich. And so you know those different nations are still here. It says against the mountains of against the mountains of Israel because as you know, the the so called Jews are in our land, okay. Um, and, uh, the United States backed them up. All right. The United States backs them up 100%, man. Okay. So, uh, any, anything that happens to Israel, the United States would be involved. Uh, and, and vice versa, you know, um, it says, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely um, all of them is talk, it's, it's talking about the United States. It says, Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Uh, thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Because is 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 what it's talking about is actually is really talking about the Russians coming coming down into the land of Israel, man, to attack. All right. Them with all the nations that we just read above, they're going to be with Russia, you know, in, as in a in a in a, in a, in a joint force uh, effort, so to speak. Okay, and it's going to culminate into this um, Armageddon, you know. It says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, it shall also come to pass that at at the same time shall things come into thy mind." And thou shalt think an evil thought, and thou shalt say, 
I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. The land of unwalled, unwalled villages is the United States, America. I will go to them that are at rest. Yeah, America's at rest. Right? Uh, uh, um, there hasn't been no outside um, uh, uh, force, great force, um, especially in these modern days, modern times, to attack the United States. All right? So they, you know, they dwell safe. They, you know, people walk around. You go to New York, man. People walk around like, like uh, everything's cool, and you know they don't realize that they're in a, they're in war in a, in a time of war. You know, they're shopping. They just, they don't know that at any time a Scud missile could hit Times Square or something and blow blow shit up. All right, that's how, that's how uh, 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 simple. These um, the average American is out there. So especially the women, right? It says, "I will go to I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely. All of them dwelling without walls and 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 having neither bars nor nor gates, to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited." And upon the people that are gathered out of, out of the nations, um, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land, and that's talking about the so-called Jews too, because these so-called Jews before they came into our land, they were gathered. They were gathered from amongst different nations like Spain, um, Poland, uh, Germany, different places in Europe, and then they all they all and they put them all in in Israel, man. All right, that was comprised with the uh, the the Balfour Declaration with author Arthur Balfour and uh, Walter Rothschild, and they they wrote this shit up and got them in the land in the uh, what was that nineteen when did they get up in there nineteen forty nineteen forty nine something like that. All right, and ever since then they've been catching holy hell with them Arabs out there, man. You know because they're not the people of the land. Uh, and the United, the United States backs them up, man, you know, and it says, um, yeah, which have gotten cattle, cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land, Sheba and the Dan and the merchants of Tarshish, uh, Tarshish is, uh, Spain with all the young, the young lions uh, thereof shall say unto thee, art thou come to take a spoil? As thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil. Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. In that day, when my people of Israel dwelleth safely, shalt thou not know it? <laughs> yeah, because the the, uh, the Lord's people, we're not we're not dwelling safely right now, man. You know, Esau is constantly trying to keep us down, do shit to keep us down, shooting us in the streets. You name it, man. You know, so so and, and we're not in our land. You know, the, uh, America is not our land. OK. So that this is the reason why the Lord is creating this war, this great war on Is all is is he's doing it only to bring us back to our land, man, from where he's from where he scattered us from, okay, the land of Israel, you see. So he's saying, look, you, you, you know, aren't you gonna know when when I put my people back in this land? Aren't you gonna know it? And this is the way, this is the manner that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a big army, man. I, I mean, a big uh, war just to get my people back into their land, man. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna comprise it's gonna be comprised of all nations being into this war, man, because all nations uh, took part in taking us down. Okay, and they licked their chops too. They were happy as hell, man. All right, when they finally uh, took us down. All right, fifteenth verse, and thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, because that's where Russia's at. North the north northern parts, right? Thou, sh thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. 
and thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land and it shall be in the latter days. Now, that's not talking about that's not talking about um let me see. This is not talking about the you know the pe the people. It's more so talking about the the land. All right, Russia coming up coming up against the land of Israel. All right, and it says as a cloud to cover the land, and it shall be in the latter days. You see, it's, it shall be in the latter days. All right, um, and that was like that was like a little stumbling block right there, you know. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel. That's that's talking about. Um, Russia coming up into the land of Israel, man, to attack it, to, to, to destroy it. It says, as a cloud to cover the land, it shall be in the latter days. We're living in the latter days now. And I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O God, before their eyes. So it's going to be a great big event, man. All right. The great big event. The great big event is what? The last, the third world's war, Armageddon. That's the great big event. That's what we're waiting for, man. That's what we're watching for. That's why we're constantly looking at the news, man. See, see, see what's, especially see what's going on between the United States and Russia. All right. Because <clears throat> remember, pursuant to uh, uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, the beginning of Esau was uh, the leopard, right? And the end of Esau is the bear. The bear is Russia. All right. That's what's going to finish it all. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them? The answer is yes. And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel, say it, see, against the land of Israel. Not the people. The people of Israel are not in the land right now. We're over here in the United States. Say up the Lord Yahweh, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. Yeah, because this, this has never happened before, man. All these, all these armies uh, going into the land of Israel, man, to attack it. Them so-called Jews, man, they're, they're fucked. It says, the 20th verse, So that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him throughout all my all my mountains. Say up the Lord Yahweh. That sword is talking about the thermonuclear sword. All right. Th thermonuclear sword, which is a thermonuclear missile or many missiles against um, uh, the United States and against the land of Israel, man. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. That's talking about Esau fighting against one another. Okay. Because the Russians are... Our Edomites and the and the and uh, the people who control the United States and Atlanta, Israel are all Edomites, so they're gonna be fighting against uh, each other, man. Satan fighting against Satan, and, and as our Lord Yahweh Shai said, uh, his house shall not stand, man. Uh, Saith the Lord Yahweh, every man's sword shall be against his brother, and I will plead ag against him with pestilence and with blood. And I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the, uh, the many people that are with him and overflowing rain. So that overflowing rain is an overflowing rain of missiles. Okay. It says, <clears throat> and, and great hailstones. The hailstones are the nu nuclear missiles as well. Fire and brimstone. That's the, that's the, uh, um, the sum of it all, right? Uh, 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 the, 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 um, what the missiles produce is fire and brimstone, right? To burn them all up. And it says, in the uh, last verse, it says, Thus will I magnify myself 
and sanctify myself and I will be known in the eyes of many nations and they shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So with that, brothers, just wanted to bring that out. Um, all I can say is keep watching, keep praying, man, you know. Um, and may the Lord be with all you brothers. Um, they are sincere within Great Millstone, um, teaching this word, man, all the way to the end. Remember what the scriptures say in Matthews, you know, and, and he that endureth unto the end. The same shall be saved. So with that, this is uh, Elder Soccer Run from GMS Gallows on the Streets signing off. Shalom.